Hallelujah, glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. Hallelujah. If this is the first time you're seeing me, special welcome to you. Thank you for joining. God bless you. Someone has been planning to secretly move you out. It's time for you to kiss that life goodbye. Time's up. You know, when you're in a waiting situation, you're in a, you have been kept on hold. Maybe you have sent your documents somewhere and you are waiting to receive a response. And there is a natural way, there is a natural procedure that it's supposed to take. And you're already conscious of that and you're waiting. You know by this time, this is what is going to happen. Maybe you've done that over and over again so much so that you already know the routine. Sometimes because you've been rejected so many times, you know that this might likely not go well. You're hopeful, but you, you, you're still preparing your mind somehow that it doesn't go right. Someone was in, was in a similar case and Jesus took special note and had to do something. You know, God was just ministering to me. He said by the man at the pool of Bethesda, he had been there for 38 years. And when Jesus said, do you want to be made whole? And he told Jesus, I do not have a man. It's an, ele it's an element of discouragement. Like he was discouraged that over the years, he has not been able to get his healing. Though he was at the pool of Bethesda, he knew he needed a man. He did not have a man, but he did not give up. He was still there. He was hoping that somehow, someday, he was going to find himself into the pool once the angel of the Lord comes to trouble the water. Of course, you know the story already. So, but Jesus looked upon him and had mercy on him jesus looked at his situation and decided to exempt him from the normal the normal was that the angel of the lord will come once and trouble the water and the first person who gets in gets their healing <clears throat> excuse me but god jesus had a, a a sacred plan to remove him from there and break the protocol and so Jesus came and just told him, carry your bed and walk. God says he's about to do that same thing for you. You have been following procedure for so long. You have been going through procedure and nothing has been happening. God is about to break the protocols for you. He's about to change the rules for you. He's about to move you from that place. Hallelujah. Do you receive the word of God with gladness? May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.